Transporting liquid ethane gas across the Atlantic is a huge challenge. As things stand, there are no ships of any suitable size capable of shipping ethane. INEOS needed a partner who was up to that challenge and understood their ambition. In January 2013, a deal was struck with Danish shipping experts Evergas. They're an innovative group and we needed some innovative thinkers. We talked to many players in the market, but from Evergas we actually found someone who's very interested in partnering with us, not just in providing ships that already exist, but in designing ships with optimum size and capacity and efficiency to meet the requirements. Evergas put forward the idea of a boat, redesigned from the keel upwards, to meet the demands of this unique project. These ships will be the largest, most flexible and advanced multi-gas carriers ever seen. HSVA in Hamburg were the hull design specialists, employed to maximise the efficiency of these immense new ships. Over in Spain, Wurzela designed a new engine, running entirely on ethane. They will be the first vessels carrying ethane as a cargo and burning the ethane also in the engines for propulsion power. This world first would mean cleaner emissions and more room for cargo. These ships are state of the art in terms of the, the equipment we install on them. The size of the ships is larger than anything built so far. And the fact that we are uh, implementing dual fuel uh, propulsion for uh, clean propulsion is groundbreaking. This design has not been seen before. These are brand new vessels and as a result they needed a new classification. The name given to them, Dragon Class. All that was left to do now was build the ships. Sino-Pacific Offshore and Engineering were the company in China chosen to construct the Dragons. One of the biggest shipbuilders in the world, they were the obvious choice for a project of this scale. The sheer scale and complexity of building these ships is really something that was only available to us in China. On the east coast of China, construction for the massive gas cargo tanks began. Three bilobe tanks will be located inside the hull of each vessel each capable of carrying 27,000 cubic metres of supercooled liquid ethane. Three hours upriver at the Daiyang shipyard, the hulls were being constructed in a block format. Well, this kind of project requires huge teams and right now on the vessel we have about 5,000 workers. Roughly, it's a, between one and two million man-hours to complete one boat. Crucial moments for the build are probably lifting the cargo tanks inside for carrying the gas because we need to be very precise when positioning them. These vessels are like 200 meter length and we have to be a couple of millimeter accurate. With the storage tanks in place and the decks completed, the first two ships were ready to launch. Not often in our industry you get a really revolutionary moment and this is one of them and to have lived through it is quite something. Without these vessels and the gas that uh, comes across, there wouldn't be a petrochemical plant at Grange Mass, so it's, it's everything. Over the next two years, eight boats will launch from Shanghai, bound for the USA to pick up their cargo.